Good day everybody, it's Cory again here with some tips and tricks with a PHP runner from Xline Soft. Uh, please go and visit their website if you haven't bought the software yet. Uh, get yourself a copy. It's uh, really worth everything. Um, I'm actually working right now on a real project. I'm actually doing some actual work and I'm creating a chart right now and I ran into some small I wonder how to do this thing so I decided to quickly set up my camera and uh, show you guys what I'm doing so uh, this is going to be very quick very short um, it's all about the chart object uh, and how to create chart so going to the screen quick uh, you will see here that I have created a chart already in uh, it's just go to your create a chart button it will basically ask you for which on which table do you want to, to create a chart for I already created that table it's a table with data already it's again something that happened before so the data is already populated in this table and ready and nicely aggregated in a way for the charts to actually work all I now doing is bringing in that data into PHP runner and uh, tell it I want to build a chart on top of that data set so by clicking on the chart create char, chart view over here it asks you basically to select the table and I just then select the table that I want to use creating my chart okay so that then uh, on the next step you will see here the chart I called it uh, daily opportunities and uh, don't worry much about the, the name of this thing it's not important right now over here there's now a lot of uh, columns uh, but I don't need uh, everything for the specific chart I only tick the ones that I'm going to use and it's basically just uh, a, a daily chart a chart showing what happened on day after day after day after day on the SQL is pretty straightforward it's not much there I then chose my chart type which is then combined which I want multiple series on one chart and then on the data series uh, option over here you will have now the drop down depending on your columns you selected and what you call them and you select the one the series of the series of the series what you want to display into this chart you have the option also now here to select your label field it's coming from where since this is a day to day I choose chose the opportunity date field to be my X axis uh, values okay uh, from there it was straightforward here you have a couple of options so uh, on the header I just gave this chart a header uh, daily and then the footer as well and then the period you just call it period that's just my y y label axis so here yeah, you have like sh uh, a tick box a show values yes or no obviously I want to show my values on the chart nicely bar chart with a value on top of it. it's always nice so I figured let's leave it ticked it defaults as ticked so I'm going to leave it like that as well when you open up this first it, all the search options will be available over here in, in this particular case I don't need them to search anything this is static this is the information as it is right now you don't have to search anything so I just untick the search option over there and don't worry about much anything further on the actual you know where you choose your layout you don't have much option it's there because everything was now set earlier on it basically just shows you where this object is actually going to be so this is the chart object over here the chart table um, I did change something in the where clause because on how the data work so the string where clause is just where again the session of that user is then going to be the signed on user session so we only filter on that level over here nice and straightforward building the the project so going to the actual website um, here we are click on daily opportunity this is the chart that I just created and there we go okay 
now I see a couple of things I wouldn't mind to change. First thing, the date on the x-axis is way too long, so it would be better if I could somehow rotate them 90 degrees. Um, the I don't really want to see this, I don't know if you can see this on the screen, but there is the, the, the variance, this blue area over here, the variance, I wouldn't mind to remove the value on variance, although I want to keep the value of 25, who is the actual opportunity. Uh, that's nice, there was 70, there was 18, 19, 21, 28, 22, 28, I want to keep those values, but I don't want to, also, this is the target. So this target is just a straight line, it's in the data, but it's with, with each and every data point, there is now suddenly a value. I don't, I don't want to show those values, I want to remove those values. And this blue is the same color almost as the blue over here, so I want to change that as well. So how the heck do we do that now? Because if you remember correctly, in PHP Runner, and let's go there quick. Over here, where you can like tick show values on or off, but that will switch on and off to the show values for all your series. And I like I just showed you, I only want to switch it on and off for certain series, not all of them. So best way to do this is to keep that selected let it now by default sort of show the values for each and every one you now will have to go to the actual events page within the the chart object there is a function or a java onload event and then underneath that you will find javascript chart modify now it's over here where we're going to have to go and do a little bit of coding. So this is all Java coding. So by the way, while you're on this page, you don't know what to do over here. You can just go and click help over here. It will bring up everything related to charts for that section over here. So there is a lot of coding over here, but I didn't really um, get to my answer how to do certain things on here already but when I as I read th through all of this they actually have this in the help file there's this more info section over here and it gives you a URL so I thought okay let's check it out so I clicked on it and uh, opened up this beautiful website that's actually any chart playground and here is a full set of documentation on how to work with those charts. After some time, I actually came up with the solution. That is what I'm gonna share with you now. Please go and read through this thing. It is a lot of information in here, everything that you would need to know about your chart and how to customize it, how to change colors, how to switch on and off certain things. It's all documented well in here. So back to PHP Runner. First of all, I would like to rotate the x-axis labels. You can just add the following code in here. It basically tells you x uh, charts, x-axis, whatever, the labels, rotation minus 90 degrees. And that's going to swing the labels. I'm then going to disable my first and my second series the labels but the third series I want the labels intact like always I would normally just type some comments here uh, so by the way just your series is actually uh, indexed by by the zero index method what it basically means is that index zero will be your first uh, series and so on so I first get the series by index and then also called the series uh, variable that I create there as zero 
and then series zeros dot labels I just say false which means it's going to switch off the labels for that series only and then remember I said it was that blue straight line I don't want the blue straight line I want it rather kind of red or dark, dark red or something so I just do it series zero dot color equals the hexadecimal value of dark red um, but I also want to switch off my second series just kind of like a repeat of that and um, I will immediately after that start coding the second series so for the second series I call it series 1 because my index over here is now a 1 and in series 1 dot labels is false I was happy with this color so I'm not gonna change the color so I just switch off the label I'm gonna build this project now and I will publish it quick okay so the project is now published and uh, I'm back on this page just uh, another small hint from my experience uh, I am working with um, Chrome as a browser and sometimes or often the changes in JavaScript that you do in PHP Runner doesn't take effect immediately it's some something to do with cache I'm actually not sure what's going on so you will have to like control F5 to refresh the page completely in order to see the changes okay so there is the new page right now and it looks a lot better however I just noticed now actually as I'm making this movie that it's not sorted which what I meant by that is my dates is really there's the first and the fifth and the seventh and then eighth and then it starts with 1920 and then 015 and it's just purely because I did not uh, do a proper order buy in this in this database table uh, let's fix that quickly you can do it in the query itself however I prefer to do it in the actual events of this page before SQL query and there I have the string order by variable which I then will copy out and I will set that to my field name which I don't remember now what it was it's going to be uh, the date the dates okay so it's going to be this um, opportunity date quickly go back to the events over there and I will say order by notice the square brackets for for, for interest sake um, it's because this is MS SQL and not my SQL okay the project is now published and uh, let me hit my control f5 for a for a complete refresh on this page and things are looking much better so as you can see we, we we've made some changes to the looks of this chart by using some simple java coding but anyway for now this is what I wanted to show you and uh, hopefully this was helpful let me stop this video now and actually get back to work uh, until next time thank you bye bye